hey guys what's up i'm ashley thank you for watching this video and today we're going to be talking about all american season 3 episode 11 titled the bigger picture if you want a full recap on episode 11 it'll be down in the description if you want to check it out I know you saw the title, so I won't hold you too much longer. But first, like this video if you like it. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this theory. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And with that being said, let's get right to it. Now, if you pay close attention to the last episode, you'll notice that it's not just about Black Lives Matter and Tamika. Almost everyone made some type of amends with each other. And I'm wondering, could it be to foreshadow something bad that's about to happen, like somebody dying? We haven't gotten a major character death, and I'm wondering if now is the time. In this last episode, we got 11 apologies and 2 indirect apologies. So 13 to be exact, and 13 is known to be an unlucky number. Now, some of these apologies were small and some were bigger. And I'm going to show them all to y'all and we're going to go through them because I'm wondering why everybody apologizing so much. So we're going to start off with Layla and Coop. Layla was helping Coop practice for her GED. And when Coop gave her the answer to a problem, Layla told her that it was wrong. But Coop was like, let me check this. And the answer that Coop said was right. And Layla was like, oh, I'm sorry. She tells her that she's been distracted more lately because this is the second time that she hasn't noticed that Olivia's needed her. Coop told her that she can't be feeling guilty and she has to find something positive to do with that guilt or just let it go. That's when Layla's like, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm wasting your time and she gets up and leaves. So a few hours passes by and Layla shows back up with Coop and she apologizes to her and tells her that she's sorry for leaving her without a study partner. But Coop had already gotten all her studying done with Preach earlier that day. So now Coop is putting together this video for Spencer and Layla's like, I thought this was a Spencer free zone. Coop was like, this is a Spencer free zone. That friendship is in the past, but that doesn't mean that all of the caring just goes away. And that she realized at Tamika's visual that she doesn't want the last thing that's shared between her and Spencer be anger. She was like, me doing him this solid allows our friendship to rest in peace. And I was like, rest in peace? Why did she have to use those exact words? And that whole situation with Mo got me nervous because Coop got her guard down with her now. Is that a sign? that Coop will die or someone will get hurt or something like that? Am I doing too much? Let me know down in the comments, but I don't think I am. And here's another reason why I don't think I'm tripping because Layla went to apologize to Olivia. And while Layla was apologizing, she said a whole quote from Coop. She goes, a good friend once told me, guilt does nothing but weigh you down and you gotta find something positive to do with it or just let it go. And I was like, Hmm, is this a whole coincidence or is this foreshadowing something? Hopefully it's coincidence and you know, she's just trying to, you know, say what a good friend once told her, but you know, my eyes is wide open and I'm skeptical. So when Layla first showed up to apologize, she comes in and she's like, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt anything. She tells Olivia that she knows she hasn't been a good friend and she missed all the signs and that no amount of sorries are gonna make up for that. And she gave Olivia her Wonder Woman pin back. Olivia gave it back to Layla, but then, you know, Layla gave it back to Olivia. So I'm just laying up here thinking, like I'm looking, like Spencer looking right here. Like, is this gonna turn into something bad? Like, will something happen to Layla? I know she's been feeling bad for a while now, but she just popped herself up at the house and I'm scratching my head. So now let's just do a quick recap because we're like halfway there now. Ayla apologized to Coop three times. She was like, oh, I'm sorry I read that wrong. I'm sorry I'm wasting your time. And I'm sorry I left you without a studying partner. And Coop did make that video for Spencer and Spencer did text her back and told her thank you. So that's kind of an amends right there and the first indirect apology. So that's five right there when you add in Layla and Olivia. So let's move on to the second indirect apology, which is JJ and Asher. There was no direct apology from these two, but they did get along the whole episode. 
And they came together to try to get Jordan out of this funk he's been in. And Jordan was given a major attitude, just unnecessary. Jordan's been in the mood because he hasn't been able to speak to Simone. And his mom is annulling their marriage. And he's mad because he hurt his own self by taking them steroids he's been taking. So he doesn't know what his football future is going to be now. So he's taking it out on everybody. So after talking to Spencer, when he showed up at his house, after he was giving him one word replies through text, he showed up at his door talking about, oh, I'm sorry for just showing up. Are you really though? Keep it all the way 100. And so while he was there, he realized that he owed Asher and JJ an apology. And also Spencer, he told Spencer that he was sorry that he felt like he couldn't come to him and tell him his good news about football. Cause you know, Coach Billy got that recruit from Texas to come out there and look at Spencer. Spencer was like, I didn't want to make you feel any worse or have you feel any kind of type of way by me telling you my good news and you not being able to play right now. So after that, Jordan realized that he owes someone else an apology. And then that's when he showed up at the football field with Asher and JJ and apologized to them for being the a-hole that he was. So do y'all think that Jordan's football career is all the way over with, or is he gonna get a miracle? I don't think anything is gonna happen to Jordan though. Let me know in the comments if you think he's gonna make it through or will something happen to him? I'm throwing this one in here because this is technically saying I'm sorry. This is when that recruiter was trying to play Spencer and tell him that he's a gangbanger. He was like, actually, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get to this visual my bad let me think this over because you're just trying to tell me that you only want me because i got shot and you want that whole image at your school on me ruining my reputation no what do you think spencer is going to choose is he going to go with texas or not let me know down in the comments now we're moving on to grace spencer's mom and principal carter first we see mr superintendent running late picking up his daughter jasmine and when he shows up Grace is there with her son and he's all in a hurry. He was like, sorry, I'm late. Which is, yeah, you say sorry when you're late. But this is the beginning of a forming relationship between Grace and superintendent. They're vibing hard and I don't really care. Let me know down in the comments if y'all here for it or not. Then when she found out that his wife died, she was like, oh, I'm sorry. She was doing something with some plants or something. And he was like, can I help? Boy, he don't, she don't need no help with no plants. And then they say a few more sentences and she repeats herself. And she's like, I'm sorry to hear about your wife. This whole episode, you can tell that something was forming. And I mean, we might see a little relationship between them after they didn't like each other at first. Time heals all wounds, they say. <laughs> So let me know what you guys think about everybody apologizing and making some kind of amends with each other. Do you think something bad is going to happen? Do you think a main character is going to die? Or am I tripping? Let me know down in the comments what you think about this whole thing. Don't forget to share this video if you know of someone who you think would like this. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.